and welcome to another Out of Spec podcast episode. You join me at home in Colorado and actually my dad who's out on a road trip in his Lucid Air Grand Touring today. He's driving from Connecticut down to Florida, which he often does. And he's noticed, he called me up, he noticed some issues. I saw his rate your charge check-ins um, on a problem that I've actually started to see uh, more frequently. Now, this is a problem that I've seen over the years. It's not a brand new problem, but it seems to be happening happening in increasing numbers and it has to do with the generation two signet electrify america charging stations what i'm going to do is just show you what i'm talking about right here so let's pull up this uh screen you can see my dad's rate your charge check-ins and you can see those gen 2 signets these ones uh, with the green glow around the outside it's not the brand new ea hardware but it was still uh, their second iteration with signet with uh, electrify america and there's two different problems that my dad seems to keep running into there's a lot of signet installations on the east coast not as many here in Colorado. We do have a few in Denver, but he's noticing an extreme number. Almost every site that he's visited in the last few weeks uh, with their 350 kilowatt chargers are limited to 50 kilowatts. So that's number one. The 350s are hosed at this location he was at, and then he was at another one just here in Richmond, Virginia, also hosed. And if you take a look, I'm just going to mute this so I can show you briefly I want to show you what's going on here. This is the main problem. And that is, look at this kilowatt power figure right here. It is just flowing all over the place, you know, going up and down, and it's very inconsistent. And I'm not exactly sure what, what it is, to be honest. Um, that's, that's sort of why I'm making this podcast, to see what you guys think is going on. So let me let you know exactly what happens here, and maybe we can find out what's going on. There's a few things we know about Signet Chargers and Electrify America right now. We know there's a big campaign to replace the power modules that are in the actual chargers. Everything you're looking at here, these are just the dispensers of electricity. So they house the cable cooling for those Huber Schooner cables. Uh, they have pumps that circulate the fluid. They have the user display. And of course, that's where you activate the, the uh, you know, the user interacts with the charger. However, the actual charger that's just the dispenser is off board mounted somewhere in the distance and that's where you get stacks of these power modules and 30 35 or 40 kilowatt bricks that all work together to match the car's pack voltage and then dump into current through this dispenser and what i've occasionally noticed at some sites failing sites is that i would see this weird i, I call it dirty power and it actually just happened to me with a porsche tycon in arizona at an aps branded electrified commercial site. And to be honest, I don't know how bad this is for the car or how good it is. It certainly can't be great for it to be sending just huge spikes and discharges. Well, not discharges, but huge variable power to the battery. Batteries are pretty good at absorbing that thing. So I haven't heard of any safety concerns regarding this or any increase of degradation. But it just seems very hard on the power electronics to be going, you know, 112 kilowatts right down to 70 to 130, right down to 60. I mean, you're just sending huge spikes and it must be freaking out some of the car systems. So what could be going on here? Um, well, the first situation could be software. And I have some friends that, that you know, are just convinced this is bad software. And, you know, uh, that, that could be a possibility. Again, we're just spitballing here. It could be that the, the station's not reading exactly what the car wants and, you know, it's constantly in this never-ending loop of the car trying to ask for a different power level to compensate for the power it's getting for the charger and it could just be a full communications issue. The second thing could be truly these failing power modules. They could be ramping up, hitting some some sort of internal limit, whether it's temperature or a fault and it drops and it quickly resets and it comes back up and that just happens over and over. But that's a little bit harder to believe because it's not a consistent variable rate. Now, when I was charging the Porsche Taycan, I actually had this for about five minutes and it was just all over the place. And then it actually smoothed out um, after, again, that five minute period of time. So I'm not sure what was going on there. The one thing I think we also can't be totally sure of is on the station monitoring side of this. So when Electrify America presumably is going to work with Signet on this and figure out what's going on and what the fix is, and hopefully they already know, um, but it might be difficult for them to do this remotely because 
Uh, certain stations are set up to only monitor or ping the charger every one second or every 10 seconds. Uh, and that's 10 seconds is pretty common with ABB. So when you get an actual charging curve, um, it's not like instant power readings that they're getting. So it might actually look when, uh, you know, the engineers log into these stations remotely, it's possible that it might look like it's a normal charging session just because it only pulls a moment in time throughout. Or it might look a little bit weird, but certainly none of these big spikes that, that go through the graph might have some smoothing to it. And I will say, you know, at, at the end of the day, yes, we've seen a lot of problems, a lot of issues and, and seemingly a never ending one. This is not a brand new issue with uh, these Signet chargers. I've seen this for years. Why is it all happening now? I don't fully understand. Uh, I've seen it on 400 volt cars and 800 volt cars, by the way, it doesn't, the, the back voltage doesn't seem to play too much of a role here. Um, uh, but I'd be curious to see what you guys are out finding. So here's what I'd love. If everyone can do, who's watching this, I'm going to do it today. I'm going to drive down closer to Denver and find some signet, these gen two signet electrify America chargers. And I'm going to try all of them. I'm going to plug into them see how the, the power curve is. I want to see how many are fluctuating, why maybe we can hear things going on. I remember ABB once I went to a charger where it was an EA charger and it was sending weird power and I could literally hear like high power buzzing coming from the cabinets. It went zzz, and then poof, <laughs> it stopped. <laughs> but somehow the breaker reset and it let me charge again. Same thing happened. That's on an out of spec motoring video uh, somewhere in the Rivian. We, we had that issue. So these Signet chargers definitely seem to be experiencing some issues. Uh, I know my dad was really looking forward to driving his Lucid on a long trip. Um, I think actually my impression was that the network was getting a little bit better in recent months. Um, you know, that, that uh, you know, maybe long distance travel wouldn't be bad. At the end of the day, he's still charging. You're still able to charge your car and get the juice you're looking for. But is it that good full power experience that's promised when you buy a car that's partnered with a charging network, well, unfortunately, at least for the last two stops, it hasn't been. I'm really looking forward to seeing his full road trip video on this. I um, I don't know what to expect. Let's all do some rate your charges at Signet Chargers, especially. I'm going to go in, do that uh, today, and hopefully we can kind of figure out how many of these chargers are experiencing these issues, how many of the 350 kilowatt units are derated to 50. I believe that does show in the app. And um, occasionally I'll find that they say they're derated to 50 kilowatts in the app, but then still get full power when I plug in. So it's a very confusing experience. I'm making this to ask you guys for a little bit of help because I genuinely don't know uh, why the chargers would be doing this, whether it's software, hardware, or a mixture of both, or if it's only on certain cars and I and my dad have just been happening to test those. Hopefully it's something small because... Um, yeah, we, we, it hasn't been so widespread until maybe the last month or so. So anyway, welcome to April of 2023 and charging in America. These are the weird little issues that we're trying to figure out and work out what's going on. Would appreciate any engineers' helps in the comments. Um, I know a lot of you watch who can't publicly comment. Feel free to shoot me a text. And let me know what's going on. And uh, yeah, can't, can't thank you enough. Have a good one. Bye-bye.